What is up everybody, this is iGame back to you for another Pokemon informative video. I've not made a video in a long time and I just wanted to get back into it and what other way to make a video than with Pokemon Showdown beta version. This is the downloaded client from PokemonShowdown.com and what basically this software or not really software, what this website does is allows you to make your own Pokemon and customize them as much as possible and then battle them against other competitive uh, users. So this is competitive. If you click look for a battle, you will be playing with people who have very competitive teams, so watch out when you play. So in order to get you prepared for playing Pokemon Showdown, I am making this video to how to make a good competitive team. Now, when I make my team, this is strictly my team, you don't have to do it this way, but following these rules is a good way to get it going. So let's get started. The category I'm going to be doing is OU. I'm only going to be doing OU for now because that's the one where I have the most experience. So click OU. This is my team right now. I will not be making the same exact team. I'll be making a new team because this team does in fact have its quirks. So we're going to click on Team Builder and we're going to make a new team. Okay, we're going to title this one. OU you um competitive team. Alright. So the format we're gonna change this format to OU and we're gonna add Pokemon. So basically what you wanna do, this is not your standard Pokemon game where you can catch all the cool looking Pokemon and then basically defeat the Elite Four with that. No, you have to do things different with this. There are three different types of Pokemon that I like to use in this. First is called um, Sweepers. There's Physical Sweepers and Special Sweepers. I prefer to go with the Physical Sweepers because, okay, first of all, the Physical Sweepers, they usually have attacks such as Close Combat or Flare Bliss or any of that where they do high damage output, but they do have, they do have negative consequences. So the one I like to use, you don't have to use this one, is Infernape. Reason like why I like Infernape is if we go to the stats over here um, actually first we're gonna go for the item item that we want to do with Infernape is we want him to do as much possible output damage as he can so we're going to do the choice we're gonna be doing the choice man the holders attack is 1.5 times but you can only use the first move it selects so now then we're gonna use its hidden ability iron fist where the punch base attacks to 1.2 times damage sucker punch is not boosted but good thing we're not using sucker punch so what we want for inferno is we want a very high output attacks so and a standard one that is used with inferno for a lot of people is close combat the thing with close combat is Close combat, once you look, it's got 100% accuracy, 120 power, it's very good. But this is one of the high risk, high reward moves. It lowers the user's defense and special defense by one. But the thing is, with the ability Iron Fist and the item choice band, plus the stab you get from the part fighting type from Infernape, this is going to do a lot of damage, but it is also going to reduce special defense and defense. So basically, if you use this move, your defense and special defense can be crippled so much where most moves that would not knock you out in one hit are probably more than likely going to knock you out in one hit now. So you have to take that into effect when you're choosing Infernape and when we're choosing its stats later, we may have to do something about that. I'm going to change mine to Shiny. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, next we want to do is we're going to do a fire type attack because we need the same, same type of attack bonus is very good. So standard, the standard uh, OU fire type attack for Infernape is Flare Blitz. Again, this is another 120 power, 100 accuracy, but it has a 33% recoil with 10 chance to burn. It also thaws the person you are using it. Well, that makes sense. 10% chance to burn. It's not a very good chance, but it's a chance. What we're going for is them to be knocked down, not to be burned. So that doesn't really matter. And the 33% recoil is the one that really gets you. Although it, it does have the high reward, it does have that high risk right there with the 33% recoil. So next, what we want to do is we want to get type coverage. Type coverage is a very good thing to have on a Pokemon, especially when you're going against flying Pokemon in Infernape's case. So for Infernape, we're going to be doing Thunder Punch. Good thing about this one is although we don't get Stab, has a 10% paralyzed chance to paralyze the target 
and it works with our ability Iron Fist. As again, if you remember, Iron Fist is uh, punch based attacks do 1.2 times damage, so this will have that a little effect in there, and it's great for covering flying types. Okay, for the last move, we'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had a quick cut. I couldn't quite remember the last move I used for my Infernape, so I went and looked it up right now. What it is for more stab and for a way to get out of battles, you can either use, you could, a good move for him is U-Turn, and although you may be wondering why would you use a bug move, U-Turn, if you remember, U-Turn covers Dark, Ghost, and Grass types. Or, the other possibility you can use is Mach Punch, and Mach Punch has a plus one priority, plus it gets, I'm going to be going with my, um, Mach Punch, plus one priority, fist with our iron fist and we get stabbed. I think that's the best way we can go for Infernape. This is a good move pool for Infernape. It gets a lot of type coverage and it can be what this calls a physical sweeper. So next we're going to go into the stats and this is what I really love about um, Pokemon Showdown is that you really get to use and very get, really get to formulate the stats. Uh, and I'll be right back. Alright, I just needed to check to see if I was actually recording with the right microphone. And so, okay, what we want to do is what I said earlier is we need Infernape, because of the main move you'd be using is close combat, we really need a way to ensure that he'll be able to use close combat. As you can see, Infernape's speed is not the best. So we're gonna bump all EVs into speed. And now it's a decent, respectable 315, although not the fastest, it is pretty fast. Next we want to go, because all of our attacks are attack type and so physical, I mean special, we're going to go all the way into attack and we're going to follow, not follow this, and we're going to put the rest of them into uh, HP. Now we need to pick our, we need to pick our uh, nature now. So because we don't have any special attack moves, we're going to be going minus special attack plus attack if I can find it. Um, here we go, we're going to be picking, no that's speed plus Yes, I think I'm going to go with speed because, as you can see, without it, if we can get rid of this plus real quick, 315, and then if we go back to Jolly, it becomes 346. So we're going to go with the speed, make it a little bit faster, and now we have our uh, sweeper. As I said, you don't have to follow this exact criteria, but most sweepers are usually... Um, not the most defensive tanks, but they do have respectable speed and a respectable attack with very good attack moves and good, uh, good attacks. So, now that we have our physical sweeper, we want to get a special sweeper. And what other special sweeper in the game is not as, as good as Greninja, the recently announced Smash Bros. new contender. The great thing about Greninja is the shiny is the best. Just kidding, that's not the best thing. It's best is the hidden ability protein, which can throw off anybody's team, your opponent's team, depending on what you have. We're gonna go quick to the item. Best item to have, in my opinion, is a life orb. Let's look at this: the life orb. Holder's damage moves to 1.3 times damage, but loses one tenth of max HP after the attack. Now you may be wondering why on earth would I go with that? I would go with that because when you're using these attacks. Greninja, although he has a respectable special attack, is not the best, and he needs to do as much damage as possible, and basically with Greninja, his defenses are so poor that if, look here, here are stats, his defenses are so poor, if he gets hit with a move anyway, he's going to be toast. So he needs to be doing a high damage output like Inferno. So for its moves, of course we want to go for the classic Hydra Pump and that'll basically cover fire, ground, rock, all those types. That's the type coverage for that. What I love about Greninja is it does all the type coverages. You can have almost all type coverages. I can, most of them, yes. So next we're gonna go for the Ice Beam. And then a 90 power 100 accuracy, which is great. Next we're gonna be going for Grass Knot to be getting uh, coverage over those other water types and other grass and rock types and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking effect of the um, dark type of Greninja and be taking dark pulse in order to get rid of those pesky psychic and uh, ghost type Pokemon. The best thing about the ability protein is right before this Pokemon uses a move it changes its type to match that move. 
Now that is a fantastic ability, one of the best abilities I've ever seen. So basically right before, so basically with all these moves I'm getting stabbed. Doesn't matter what type, what type of move it is, I get stabbed. And so basically going against uh, Mega Blastoise in the tank, Grass Knight will be great. The only downfall to this is Mega Venusaur. Mega Venusaur's ability, Thick Fat, resists ice and fire. So I can't do any damage. I can't do a high damage output to Mega Venusaur and other Pokemon that also resist all these moves. But basically, I have almost every type of coverage besides Steel type and Bug type, I think. You also have to watch out for Bug types. Bug types are nasty. So what we do is see, we need a, the fast special sweeper. Put all the EVs into special attack and into speed. And again, we want the speed uh, ability because we need to go first. If Greninja doesn't go first, it's basically it for Greninja because one hit will take him out. So we need to go with that. See, so he has respectable speed. And although that special attack is not as good, the life or plus the ability to protein will give stab and a massive output damage for all of these and basically make it good enough. Okay, now we need to go into our tank. There are so many options for tanks, it is unreal. I personally love Blissey. Blissey is one of my favorites to use, and it's love. Ooh, I spelled that wrong. Blissey is my, one of my favorites to use. So for Blissey, we're gonna give it the leftovers, and its ability we're gonna, going to be going with huh. Healer is unnecessary. Serene Grace. This Pokemon has a secondary effect chance to double. We don't need that. We're gonna be going with Natural Cure. Because you'll be switching out a lot in this game, and since Blissey is your tank, you'll be getting a lot of the, uh, a lot of like the, um, you'll be getting a lot of like the toxics and the poison, uh, and not poison powder, paralyzed powder, whatever it is, and so it's nice to have that to get out there. So I just want to see. I didn't really think of this. Now taunt is illegal. But what we want to do is we want to have moves like Aromatherapy. Now this is great because it cures the user's party of all status conditions, which is awesome. We also want to have... This, this does not learn spikes. So we want to have the... What should we call it? Oh no, I can't learn that. Oh, it's Softball, my bad. Ooh, I spelled that wrong. Softball. And then basically we need attack, so we're going to go fire, fire blast, and then we're going to be going for, I don't know, we can use any other attack. Hey, let's go down to the usable moves list and let's see which one we have. Block is also a really good move for uh, Blissey. Target cannot switch out. That's also really good. It's a way to keep in a Pokemon, keep in another tank, unlike Bliss, uh, keep in another tank so they can't escape. That's a good one to have. So we want the physically defensive tank. Um, you could put in HP, which I probably am. Um, what I don't get is why the recommendation is defense instead of special defense. Let's check this out. Yeah, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. We're gonna be going for special defense. Minus attack plus special defense because it already has great EV, I mean great IVs for special defense. Here, plus now we need special attack, minus attack, calm nature, and then we just rev this up. Four or five is very good, and the HP seven fourteen is ridiculous. So that's going to be our tank. Next we need the status guy. Basically the guy who can just pick off Pokemon that basically do not like are very weak like Greninja by placing various status elements. My favorite in my opinion is Breloom. Breloom's ability you can have if you want to have Breloom attacking Technician is the best. If you want to have him doing what I'm doing Poison Hill is what it is. So we need I forget the name I think it's Orb Toxic Orb Yes, we need this because Poison Heal, if it's poisoned, it gets one eighth of its max HP back and no HP loss, which is great. We're going to make this shiny. We're going to make this shiny because I forgot. 
Can his leg go? No, it's not shiny. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna teach his substitute. Substitute is a great attack to, at stalling. It's one of the best stalling techniques, and it is also one of the greatest ways to lock up a Pokemon that doesn't use rapid um, attacks in succession, such as Bullet Seed or Pin Missile or Arm Thrust. So next we're gonna teach it spikes. Just kidding, doesn't learn spikes. We're gonna teach it um, Leech Seed. Leech Seed is also a really good one. Is it Stone Edge it learns? Yes. No, we don't want Stone Edge. Um, I forget what it is. Stealth Rock. It cannot learn Stealth Rock. Okay, never mind. We're also going to teach it Mach Punch because it has the priority and the stab. That's going to be basically its only attack. It's not going to be giving any other attack besides that. And then next we're going to be... You know what? No. I've seen some really th good things. Uh, well, not from this Pokemon. We're going to change this up. I forget the Pokemon's name, so I'm going to be right back. Alright, what I decided to go with instead is Ferrothorn instead. What we're going to do is we're going to change the item and we're going to give it a Rocky Helmet, I think it is. Yes. What it is is uh, with Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, it's going to, any Pokemon that hits Ferrothorn is going to be losing one fourth of their HP basically per turn. But this is also going to be having spikes. Can I learn Toxic Spikes? Because I think, cannot learn Toxic Spikes, but I can learn Toxic. So yes, I will teach it Toxic. We're going to give it Power Whip, the only attack it will have, just because it's so good and it gets stabbed. And we're going to be teaching what is it? I get all my information from um, Smogon or Smogon or whatever. And Leech Seed or Stealth Rock? We're going to be going Stealth Rock. Okay, physically defensive is definitely where we want to go with this. So we're going to be giving it that and have nearly 400, special, uh, 400 defense, and that's good. So it's also a tank, but not as much as a tank as Blissey. Okay, next we need our Mega Evolution for this set. So, there's two Pokemon I'm thinking of. Either Mega Metacham or Mega Heracle. Good thing with Mega Heracross is it breaks those substitute spammers, such as Braylon, but it doesn't have as much of a high damage output as Me Mega Metacham does with um, Pure Power, I think it is, and High Jump Kick. So what we want to do is we want to get, it's a real toss-up, but this set, we already have a fighting type, so bo and both of them are fighting type. Just for this video, I'm going to test Mega Aircross. Why you may ask? Because I got in a battle where I was locked with a Breloom that just did substitute the whole time and I was like, oh, I was just dying. So I had to forfeit. I had no choice. So I hate those and this can do a lot of damage if you do it right. So we're going to be teaching Pin Missile and oh, Skill Link. I forgot to tell you. Skill Link. Uh, the multi-hit attacks always hit the maximum number of times, so Pin Missile will always hit five times. Um, as a Bullet Seed will always hit five times. Ooh, excuse me. Arm Thrust will always hit five times. And now we want to give it a good move. We're going to be giving it Mega Horn, because it's a really good bug type of attack. So we want to go Bulky Physical Scooper. That's exactly what we want to do with this. Look at that attack stat. If you get an attack off, you're doing a lot of damage. But the thing is, Heracross's speed is pretty, pretty bad. But all of its attacks are physical, and so that's good. We need one more. As you can see, we need to go through the type coverages. We have Bug, Grass, Fighting. Uh, doesn't count, doesn't count. Um, fire. Uh, water, ice, dark, uh, fire, fighting, electric, fighting. We need a psychic type, just in case. Either psychic or ghost. I don't like picking this. I really don't. If it were up to me, I would use definitely Mega Gardevoir because that is my favorite Pokemon, but I can't. Because it's just not competitive at all. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be picking Gengar. 
Now you may be wondering why are we picking Gengar? That's not a psychic type. Gengar is probably the trolliest Pokemon ever. I'm gonna just see if we can learn psychic. It can learn psychic. So we're gonna teach it psychic. We're also gonna be teaching substitute. We're gonna be teaching it disable. So what this Pokemon does, oh we need one more move, we're gonna be going um uh Shadow Ball. Because it's awesome. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be making this a fast special sweeper. But it's not gonna be a special sweeper. What it is is Gengar is gonna troll the opponent. That was a stupid shiny. We're gonna be trolling the opponent when we do this. Basically, I set up the psychic and shadow ball for type coverage, because we need a ghost and we need psychic. Substitute disable is a very good thing for Gengar because he has really good speed. But what we need to do is, what it is, this is a Pokemon that spans, if you're going against a Pokemon that spans a very good attack like high jump kick or, I don't know, close combat like Infernape, you throw out Gengar. Gengar does the substitute, they use their attack, it breaks the substitute, or if he's immune to it, it doesn't do anything. And then use Disable to disable their best move, and then you knock him out to Gengar. So, this is my team. I don't know how good this team is, I'm just going by what I said. I think the weak link in this is Blissey. I think I need to get another another uh, tank besides this. There's other, other many tanks I've been testing out. There's Tangrowth, which is a good one. Tyranitar even can if you use him right. Heracross can even be a tank if you use him right. We're going to test this out. See how good this is. We're going to look for a battle. The servers cooperate. Servers have not been cooperating at all in the past few days, which really annoys me. So we're searching for a match. And I will bring it back up as soon as I find a match. Okay, now we got a new move. We're gonna be test I mean new We got a new whatchamacallit's we got a new battle and we're gonna I'm gonna show out what a Mega Heracross can do against this Greninja. Hopefully it doesn't switch, more than likely it's going to switch into Staraptor or Sylveon, or no, it's probably going to go into Configure Us, Configure Guess, whatever, and basically, or Starmie even, basically just ruin what I want to do, I probably should have done, hmm, he flinched, great, basically have to switch now, switch into Blissey, these extra sensory does almost no damage whatsoever. And we're going to block. Why couldn't I block? Ooh, why? Okay, now it's poison type. We're gonna be going for the uh we're just gonna be going for fire blast because it no longer has the resistance. Now it gets the resistance back. But I still do damage to it. Hopefully it switches types. Because I'm just going to be regaining this HP. So it's basically a... Oh, now I get burned. But I have the aromatherapy, aromatherapy ability plus soft boiled. Which makes it a little bit easier for me. When it comes to doing stuff like that. There's a 9 and then aromatherapy. And I'm good. And basically I'm just tanking him until he switches. and Until... He can't switch anymore. But until uh, one of us dies. And thankfully I've got the wall and I do more damage than he does. And the good thing about it is I can switch out and he can't. So I can, he's going in for the water stuff. He's now a solid water type. I'm gonna throw out Migra Ninja. We're both shiny. I use the Skull to resist, but I also take poison damage. But I'm gonna be going for the Grass Knot. Depending on who's faster, I think I'm faster. I don't know, it depends. He's got pro basically the same Pokemon, and boom, yes, the grass type special sweeper knocks him out. So I'm happy about that. I need to switch back into, uh, let's see. So now he's got that Star Raptor, which is a big pain because he's probably faster, more than likely faster. So he's going to be going in for a flying type attack on me. I'm going back into Bliss. Sweet Bliss. I'm gonna start the timer because I hate it when people just 
derp around. And he switches into Sylveon, which is weird. So I'm going to do Aromatherapy, get the poison off of Greninja so he doesn't take that much when he comes back in. Wish, he's expecting me to do a high damage output. I'm going to block him. Moonblast, see, it does just does not do that much. It lowers mine, my uh, special attack, but now he's kept, he's blocked in here, basically allowing my uh, allowing me to just fire blast the whole time. Wow, I don't do, I hardly do any damage. So I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch into. I'm gonna switch into fair form. I don't think I can be poisoned now, and I resist. And I'm going to lay the Toxic down on him. Lay the Toxic down on Confagrigus now that he switched it. Um, I'm going to start laying... He probably has Hidden Power Fire if I had to guess. Uh, he's, he's probably going to switch into Crocodile though. Probably has a fighting type attack, or maybe even to star me if he doesn't switch. And I have to be careful about attacking this guy though, because of his ability mummy. It basically makes my ability mummy, and anybody who touches me turns their ability into mummy. That's what that ability does. I I, I did my move. I, I don't know. Knocks off my rocky helmet, but he still took damage from it. Now I'm just laying down the stuff now. Confagrigus, so he's gonna start to lose more and more. Uh, how's my attack? My attack is decent, but I'm gonna lay down the spikes because that's what we need. Will o Wisp is bad for me because I take a lot of damage from Will o Wisp. Did it miss? Must have missed. Nice. So we're gonna lay another layer of spikes. It's gonna take some damage from that, and I'm gonna lay one more. And I'm gonna be laying down another toxic. And it's now toxic. And that is going to start losing. I don't know how many I can do. Um, I think four loses one, eighth, one layer, two layers, and three layers. Okay. Yeah, he switches back into Confagrigus. I don't know why he would do that. Oh, because the wish came true. But he starts to lose more and more health. How many can I do for this? Um, weakness to rock type. I think I can only do one. Only once before failing. So we're going to go for the power whip now. I'm basically done. Got the burn, so I'm going to be losing a lot, a lot of HP now because of my quad weakness. Yeah. How much did I lose? Um, does not say. Um, we're basically done with uh, spikes. I've laid down three layers of spikes. And what did it use? It's probably going to... I guess it's gonna switch out, so I'm gonna do another power whip. No, it doesn't. It stays on. I don't know what it's doing. I think it's just waiting it out, like I am. By the looks of it, he's gonna die first. Hex, ooh, I'm gonna die this turn, but so is he. So, oh no, he's not. Yeah, he is. He lost exact. He lost exactly the right amount. So did I. That's sad, but you know, you gotta cut your losses. We're gonna go back to Ninja. Greninja is going to be dead at the end of this turn, I believe. Am I still grass type? No, I'm water, back to water dark. Hopefully I'm faster. If I'm faster, I can get this knockout. Yes, I am. But I unfortunately take poison damage. I have enough for one more attack. Ferrothorn did a great job. Because now look how much damage he's going to be taking. 25% of their health. It's ridiculous. Now that I'm ice type, I don't know why you sent out Sylveon. I'm going to be going... Probably for the ice side, just to get the yes, and he's gonna be. I'm gonna be dead this turn. He's gonna be dead this turn, and it all as well. No, he's not. Oh, we're gonna send out Bliss Evil, uh, Bliss Evil Wall, and we're gonna use Aromatherapy one more time, just to get that poison off of me. He's in protect. That's fine with me. It's gonna die this turn. Oh, he got the wish. That's what I was going for, but it's still, it's gonna lose health. So now I'm going to block Sylveon in because the Sylveon is a real pain. <laughs> Crocodile is going to be taking a lot of damage. Bach, you can't go anywhere. Ground Dark. Um, I'm going to go with the Fire Blast. Brick Break. Ooh, Blissey the Tank is down. 
I was unable to put Toxic on it, so we basically have to rely on Infinite. I don't know how fast this guy is. We have to try with close combat. I should have done Mark Punch. Probably be the end of me now. I don't know why now I get the knockout on Sylveon. Don't know quite why I did that, but now I'm locked into using close combat, and if they switch out into Starmie, that's really bad for me. And they did. But fortunately, it starts out with 63. I'm going to be predicting that it's using a water time move. I don't want to risk hair cross, so I'm going to throw in Gengar. I don't think I take poison. Psy Shock. Oh. This is really bad now. Thankfully, Infinite has Thunder Punch. I hope I'm faster. Yes, I am. Yes, and I knock him out. Last, we have Crocodile, and now I don't think he's expecting me to have Thunder Punch. And since he takes that much damage, I think I'm... Oh, I'm stuck with uh, Mach Punch. Okay. We're going to go back into Heracross. Heracross, Mega Evolved. Earthquake, I resisted it. He's going to take damage because he has a Life Orb, I think. I don't think I'm going to live this through, but if I'm faster on Thrust, I can show you how it's guaranteed 5 hits, even though I won't see. I really like this battle. This is a very good demonstration battle. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got this one locked in the bag. He's quad weak. Yeah, he uses Crunch. This is going to be really close. GG. He's typing GG. Um, hopefully he doesn't quit on me. He's going to be going for the... Uh, I'm going for the Mach Punch Prior, and I win. So basically, this team is not perfect. It has its flaws, but it does have its strength points. Um, Greninja did well. Infernape did well. Uh, this will never happen as well as it did, but Ferrothan did well. I did not get to show you Heracross. I'm thinking of maybe going to Metacham or someone else. Gengar didn't do anything. Blissey was fantastic. What I'm thinking is cutting out Fire Blast and putting Toxic on Blissey just because I can just wall him up. Gengar, I'm gonna have to gonna have to change out Gengar. Probably put in someone like Lucario. I don't know, Lucario was good special attack, it's got good attack. Um I may change actually my mega evolution from Heracross to Lucario. I don't know. It's, you can do anything you want with this. That's why this is fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I enjoyed making it even though waiting thirty billion years for the, the first battle. It was fun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next clip.